Hello everyone, it is Carson and Conrad. Hello. Uh, we are here to reflect on our recent independent project. Mm -hmm. uh, we decided to do After Effects together. Wanted um, to make a cool kind of lightsaber movie, you know, we like Star Wars and stuff, so. Yeah, so the video itself did not turn out great. Oh, it's awful. Uh, but we really wanted to focus on learning After Effects and by the end of it, I think we really uh, have a good understanding of it. And if we did this project again, I think we would do a better job on the video. Uh, but we're just going to run through kind of how we did some of the effects, kind of the basics around it, so you guys can kind of see inside of what we did. Um, Conrad, do you want to take over here? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And just kind of get your points up here. Right. Talk to the people, go through frame by frame this lightsaber for a little bit. Alrighty guys, so you know, as you can see, we downloaded the Saber plugin. It's a little video co-pilot over here. You know, you click on it, you drag it on. So um, the th nice thing about this program is that it doesn't have four points to drag for the lightsaber, whereas if you just were to do it in After Effects, it'll, it'd be four. So you only have to drag these two points, as you can see here. Um, so you, as you can see, I'm dragging it across, you know, and pretty much all we did was we went frame by frame, dragged it. You f you try to make sure you follow it. That way it's accurate with the lightsaber. It looks real. Um, and then you, a lot of the times, like you kind of have to guess where it's at. If it's really blurry, it's like that. I mean, I kind of had a general idea, but you can see like the, it's extending just to show like the blades motion. You drag it to the end, every frame, and so I think we ran at like 30 frames, or no, 20 frames per second, so we just had to continue to drag and drag and drag for so 20 frames per second, so and we had about a 30 second video, so it took a little bit, but it wasn't too hard. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all we did with that. Uh, Carson, you want the floor? Yeah, I'm gonna, We another effect we did in our video uh, was a force push. Um, I'm gonna have to go find it over here. All right, so we do a little force push here. I'll just play it in full motion for everybody. So yeah, real quick, a second or two, just kind of a wind blast here. Um, so basically I start with, a, I add another layer, uh, just a white solid, and I make it um, uh, just a little sphere, and then I control with that, I, I keyframe the path, the feathering, and the expansion, the expansion is just the size of it, and the feathering is kind of how, you know, what's the word, kind of a glow effect that you add on it, you know, not, not, not a definite circle, just add a little bit of a glow to it so it looks more like a wind. I also added a few just kind of radial fast blurs and little things to make it look a little better. Um, it looks really good, Cardi. Thank you, Conrad. So yeah, I had to kind of, as as I went along, as I keyframed it here, make the expansion bigger, make the feathering bigger. As you kind of get larger, you have to feather it more and more. So it looks okay. That's kind of how you did that. Not too difficult um, there. So yeah, like we said, like Connor said about the Saber part, uh, we kind of relied on that plugin a lot, Saber. Um, that was really cool kind of thing to use. It looks really nice, honestly. Like that looks pretty sweet. That does look pretty sweet. So yeah, you can just yourself, if you want to go on, just go on the internet. It's totally free. You can download a plugin for After Effects. And like he said, just kind of just drag it on, you know, like that and then you can edit as you please. Um, yeah, anything else, Conan? Nope, just had a blast doing it with you, Cardi. We, we had a good time. I think we learned a lot. Our final video isn't the oh, best. No, it's, oh, it's awful. Uh, but I think we kind of accomplished our goal of learning After Effects and making some lightsabers. Yeah. So that is all. We are gonna sign out. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.